Hey guys, this is Michael, my vlog channel because this is like a shitty quality video. Um, I got a strawberry SAE. I look really bad. I'm not even put this up. <laughs> I'm just have facials and all my extractions are out. <sighs> I did a little hike. My breakfast burrito place was a little was a little further than I anticipated. <laughs> Um, that's okay though, I can use the walk. So obviously there's no makeup video today because I don't have makeup on my face. Because I did a facial, but even if I didn't do a facial, there's some days you just need a break of makeup. This is literally the worst angle, I'm so sorry guys. Literally, I just, you would think like, I might be better at, the worst. I just want to eat my, my breakfast burrito. <gasps> they gave me extra chips and salsa. Mmm. So bomb. Mmm. Made me the work. Gave me salsa. so nice like and they recognize me I think because I came in before and tagged them and shit they're so cool I wore rock last night so I just bump it up I feel like the drama has settled down on YouTube, but like, why did it get so crazy? Why was there so much going on? Was it the moon? Was it people being born? It was scary. Um, I'm not talking about like calling people out for being racist because I think that's totally fine and acceptable. And you know, I think it teaches like a lesson. Like, even though people said this stuff, including myself, many years ago, like it's it's important to see like this is fucking wrong. Even if you say it in a song, you say it as a joke, like, it's wrong to do. So I like the accountability aspect of it. Where's the actual burrito? Oh my god, people just so nosy, just... Okay, not being funny. A burrito in here. Um, literally, I was like, um, they forgot to give me the burrito. <laughs> I'm so glad, no, don't worry, don't fret. I was so, I was like, oh my god, so excited about that whole bag of goodies. And then, all right, here is the breakfast burrito. Mm. They're definitely good fresh. Like, I, I would recommend picking them up. Because I have to go to my house, which is not that far. It's like, my house is like 20 minutes from here, but. I can't see my sweatshirt, but I wore this on my podcast. It 
has these crazy sleeves. So many people ask where I got it. It's from a company called Bren and Glory. W-R-E-N and Glory. Mm. They have a lot of cute clothes. date means I want to post make and chill. <laughs> yeah. The guys are lucky it's quarantine. This is getting a girl out really. I thought I fell in love during the quarantine. I was all like, oh, I'm in love. But really like just bored. just gonna be a comfort for me. I'm trying to this, it's so good. You know what though, to be honest, like these are all just hook up, so there's no way I'm gonna date any of these people long term. Like we're <laughs> We're coming to our house to watch Netflix and then we're gonna have sex, okay? Oh. Mm. Mm. My favorite though is when they act like that's not what they're coming to do. That's not all they want to do. Let's have a podcast out today, which you guys are gonna see this a few days later. Of this guy I was seeing casually. DM me other girls and the way he would DM them she'd be like this feels like a conspiracy and he's like my conspiracy to have sex with you because you're on to me I'm like who says that so bluntly like every guy knows to like casually be like hey let's order in food like chill and watch movies not hey I want to have sex with you you're on to me what it's so insane. Mm. That blows my mind how stupid you guys are in general, but this specific guy. Like, Trisha's laughing it off, but you can tell she's hurt. I mean, yeah, it fucking hurt. Specifically, it mostly hurt because I had asked him, like, hey, are you like DMing people? Are you trying to get out with other girls? Like, no. Nope. He's like, no, I don't I don't DM anyone like that. Like, just straight up lying. Like, be honest. Mm. Believe me. I kept it lighthearted. There was a lot more I could have exposed. I try to keep it cute. Bob, my mom and Jeep regular like last week. I see these the Rubicons everywhere. That seems to be the thing people like, right? I'm looking at one right now. Is it because it's like the Jeep's SUV? I get it. I'm not freaking SUV myself. SUVs are more comfortable to drive. You can get more shit in them. More people in them. Shitty people in them. the shops right next to each other but they're right in Beverly Hills the taco shop right next door there's another one mmm that's probably why 
way they throw in the chicken is awesome. <laughs> now it makes sense. Right? Like it just feels like like Broadway shut down concerts. It's not really safe to travel. People are scared. It's like having nothing to look forward to is such a bummer. stars I'm like that's so crazy they were so famous and in so many big movies and now they just can't have or they can't get a jobs in in any movies I think of like Anthony Michael Hall from like the breakfast club because I saw I was watching a John Hughes reunion thing on Josh Gad's YouTube channel where he got all these people that were in John Hughes movies to say lines from them and Anthony Michael Hall was on there I was like it's so crazy he was like a, a huge star in all these huge movies in the 80s and now Feldman, who I loved, he was so sweet. He was on my podcast. I asked him to do it. It was very nice for him to do it. But he was in some big ass movies, and just people want to want to hire him anymore. Is it because they're so known for being that those in those kid movies? They need someone like Quentin Tarantino to like research their career, or Macaulay Culkin. I heard is going to be in the new American Horror Story whenever they start filming again. sweet but she's probably like what the fish is doing in there i don't know we'll buy a starbucks i guess we can probably eat in their car all right guys be safe i love you thanks for eating with me it's like a mini eating show it's gonna be ugly with ugly ankles so let's get on the second channel bye guys <laughs>